Hey everybody, welcome back to Straggle Luna Metaphysical. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can start transforming your life for the better. What we're going to talk about today is why bad things happen to good people. We all wonder that, right? Why, 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 why does this happen? Why does that happen? You know, if there was a God, he wouldn't or she would, you know, we got to get out of that, okay? We got to figure it out and I'm going to help you do that. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So, this is how I'm going to explain things to you, okay? And this is the easiest way that I can think of uh, that you can metaphorically use it to uh, remember what I'm telling you, okay? So, when we look at the life cycle of a plant or a flower, okay, how I talk about life and transforming your life is from seed to bloom okay so what we have to do before we start planting our seeds which is our new life okay what you have to do is you have to clean out the soil and get rid of the weeds and clean up everything okay before you know you plant your seeds okay so think of planting seeds as planting your life and think of the weeds and all the schmegma is what I call it all the schmegma that doesn't belong there or the roots of the weeds that can kill your beautiful new blooms you need to get rid of okay so those weeds are considered the past okay or traumatizing things that have happened in your life or people that have hurt you or unforgiveness or resentment any negative emotion or negative experience is where the weeds and the soil come in okay anything that has to do with your new life has to do with planting and growing okay so just to make that clear I wanted to uh, make that clear for you so you can understand where I'm coming from so let's start with the weeds okay you're going to plant a garden okay you say oh man this spring I'm gonna plant a new garden uh, man I'm gonna grow all these good herbs well what do you got to do first you have to clean up a space right so when you start cleaning up that space and you start pulling out weeds you don't just pull the weeds out from the very top you have to get them by the root or they're going to continue to grow back okay and strangle your beautiful garden okay so think of those weeds as your struggles and the root is when you get the root of the weed out that's when you really got rid of it completely and that's what we're going to talk about today okay because struggles in life we're not created for us to be punished or to suffer but it's the complete opposite they're there for us to learn from and become successful and prosperous in life they're meant for us to heal not to be punished there's not a God up there or the universe isn't saying uh, you know oh because you did this uh, you know you're gonna be punished no that's not how it works it's not how it works it's not a punishment I promise you it's not a punishment and it's not karma that you did something wrong now it's coming back to you that's not how karma works karma is actually the same as what I'm telling you right now okay it's all about learning the lessons and that's what it's about not being punished but learning the lessons that you need so you can have a good relationship so you can have your family so you can live and not 
uh, have an addiction or an emotional eating uh, problem like whenever you get depressed uh, you eat or you go to drugs okay and I know this from experience and this is why I can say this because I've done it I've done the drugs I used to say uh, I'm just gonna do it because at least I don't have to deal you know or I would eat because you know I thought it was making me feel better when in actuality it was just causing me to feel a lot worse and a lot more unhealthy first of all change can happen okay with patience guidance and time I truly believe everything in life happens for a reason okay I'm gonna give you an example I was diagnosed when I was 32 years old with reflex sympathetic dystrophy and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome they had me on 18 medications three times a day 18 medications okay one was morphine I was on 90 milligrams of morphine a day my kids were young at the time I, I couldn't live like that I refused to live like that RSD put me in a wheelchair for a year a year I was in a wheelchair and I said no way nope 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 not me I refuse to live my life this way so what did I do I made the choice to take what I had or what or take my experiences okay and start to turn them around okay so we can sit there and feel sorry for ourselves saying why me what why did this happen to me what's next nothing ever good happens blah 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 been there done that still do sometimes okay we're all guilty of it but I'm not gonna lie and I want to tell you that it's an easy road either because it's not it's damn hard I struggled in so many ways I mean sexual abuse uh, you know domestic violence um, finances I mean I lost everything when I was diagnosed with RSD I lost everything I'm talking my marriage my home my job my income everything it just it was all gone and I was I was devastated I was completely devastated and then I had to move back into my mother's house with my kids I mean I didn't have anything so I moved back in you know I had a little space of my own and I started to research natural medicine and natural healing my point to telling you that story is that if I did not get RSD and I was not confined to a wheelchair for one year I would have never research natural medicine there would have been no reason for me to okay now I have 10 certifications in natural health and wellness I have a diploma in holistic medicine I have a degree in psychology and I have two other certifications in hypnosis one in hypnosis and one in life coaching and I'm a psychic medium so go figure you think if that happened to me or if that did not happen to me I would be where I am today not I know for a fact I wouldn't be so when these experiences challenge us we can make different choices we can react like we always did saying why me you know poor me and playing the victim or we can respond by taking positive action when these experiences try to get a hold on us we have to change our actions which can truly change the outcome and when you find forgiveness okay for those who have hurt you in the past it leads you to your purpose in life I'm not talking about the career you have to do every day to survive but your passion okay so when I'm talking about the roots of the weeds I want you to and 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 before I move forward remember this is not going to happen overnight okay this takes time and you have to give yourself the patience and the time to get through this 
But if you follow what I'm saying, I'm telling you, you can do it because I did it myself and I still work on it every day. It's, it never stops. It's a job in itself. Okay. So step one, okay. Finding the roots. Okay. Because before you can pull anything out, you have to find them. Okay, because the roots don't stand out on top of the soil, right? They're deep. They're within the soil. So they have to be dug up. I'm a psychic medium. I told you that earlier. And I want to give you a message that the angels told me once. It goes like this. A house must be built from the basement floor. If the foundation is cracked, the house will not stand, eventually falling to the ground. What this told me was that we have to be broken down before we can be rebuilt. Okay, meaning be, we have to go down and dig up the roots of the past before we can truly rebuild our lives the way we want to have them or the way you know we want our lives what I want you to do is start becoming aware of all your surroundings I'm talking every little thing journal journaling is huge in life transformation because what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to it and you're gonna say oh that's why or oh so that's who okay because a lot of times there's a who and not just a what that's causing you to feel the way you are so we got to take everything into consideration I also want you to take a look at your childhood Okay, because a lot of times we are conditioned to think something or to act a certain way or society conditions us through commercials and music and TV shows. It's crazy how we are conditioned. The news. Stop watching it. It's all negative. It's all bullshit. It's just negative bullshit schmegma. That's all it is. Stop watching it. Get a get a weather. You need to watch the weather. Get a weather app. You want to check the news to see if anything's going on in your neighborhood. There's apps out that apps you know blah, apps out there for that too. You don't need to read about everything negative because what they are doing is instilling fear into you. To program you to be scared so you follow the rules but that's a whole nother whole nother video anyway I want you to go back to your childhood and say okay what or did my mom or dad say anything to make me feel this way you know because there's only two things two emotions okay fear and love we need to get to love and get rid of the fear so any kind of negative emotion is connected to fear so there's something that you're scared of that is causing you to be stuck or stop growing in life so I have a couple worksheets that you can download for free and they're at my website which will be in the video and I want you to take a look at them and I want you to really sit back and think of the why why are you feeling this way or why or who is causing you to feel this way or bring or triggering an emotion okay and this worksheet is going to help you with that there's actually a few of them and I'm going to put the links into the description so you can go download these and I can promise you I really really promise you if you do this and you follow through you will get better 
and you will feel better about everything. I am living proof that you can do it. In our next video, we're going to move forward. And what I'm going to do is start where I left off and it's going to be like a series, like a transformational series for you to change your life. So there's a couple things that I would like you to do. First, I would love for you to leave a comment and tell me what part of your life are you struggling with? You don't have to get personal. You could just put relationship or finance or career or, you know, just so I can get an idea of where to go in the future videos. And that would be really helpful. So this way I can, you know, use examples that can connect to you personally. Secondly, don't forget to download the worksheets because they're really important. And grab yourself a marble composition book or a cute little journal and start journaling because it's so important to finding what's going on. So I ask that you like and share the video. I would be so grateful for that. And I will see you in the next video. Namaste.